Sometimes where the lines are drawn, hard and fast rules shouldn't apply. In this case, county lines. That's the way they say things. What? It, 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 everything ends at the county line. This weekend's fire sadly ended in Mark Wright's death, a beloved person here in Wolf City, a city that sits in two Texas counties, Hunt and Fannin. My understanding is there is not a formal interlocal agreement. Fannin County Judge Newt Cunningham helping explain why the much closer Wolf City Volunteer Fire Department in Hunt County may not have been called first to respond because Mark Wright lived on the Fannin side. It prompted this post from Wolf City Fire. We understand there is some frustration as to why we were the last department notified of this fire. We've asked for an automatic aid agreement over the years with Fannin County. They have never followed through with it on their end. We, we're still trying to understand what occurred. Now, is there a, apparently a need for some sort of interlocal agreement? Uh, uh, apparently, yes. Uh, it, you, you want to get in front of the problem. Wolf City Fire Rescue says it was dispatched 20 minutes after everyone else. They're a mile away and got here in three minutes. Honey Grove, Ladonia, Bailey. Fannin County tells us it is their county protocol and just about everyone else's to call on the departments only in their county for logistics reasons, resource reasons, to name a few. But also there are statutes like this one that encourage these interlocal contracts for efficiency, for effectiveness. Fire protection is one of them. It is the fire and loss that has sparked this conversation between local and county. Absolutely, absolutely. What? Did it take somebody's death to be an agreement? One day after Wolf City Fire Rescue's initial post, signs of progress. An automatic mutual aid agreement is in the works. This will allow for us to be automatically dispatched without having to be requested. It's, it's terrible that we have to, it has to be brought to our attention this way, but it's been brought to our attention now. We need to act on it. Mark's daughter, Quana Marie, tells us her father was loved by the community. I don't blame any of the departments for what happened. My dad would be proud to know that automatic aid agreements are being made and that something good came of his death. And what I'm hearing from the uh, Wolf City Volunteer Fire Department, they have resources and they're willing to share. And, you know, I, I share real easily. If you Judge Cunningham says an agreement will take time. It will take cooperation from counties, cities, and their governments. When lives are at stake, does it matter where the lines are drawn? In Wolf City, I'm Jobin Puniker.